So this is Ujjwal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial you are going to learn about double integration and the question right now in front of you this question already asked in gate previous year and the question has been asked for two marks yeah so you are going to learn step by step method how to solve problems integration definite integration in case of double integration so are you ready i hope you are ready so let's get started so what happens when we got double integration we get confused which one term we need to choose first for integration we know till now probably we know how to do integration but we don't know which term we have to choose among these two okay let me share with you that thing okay we know that which one come first we give preference to that so therefore here first term is this so we'll give preference to this we'll start from here and here which one is first from the right hand side this one so we'll give that uh, what we'll give preference to this term that means first integration will do this term and this term only then what will be remaining will go for that got it now let's get started first so we'll do integration of this for dy so what we'll get basically 0 to 3 there is constant term so 6y xy y square by 2 a simple integration process i am doing and it's dx there is no rocket science required for doing this remember all right because this is really simple any anybody can do this right so what we have to put here you can make mistake maybe you will not put the values that is 0 to x you have to put values before going to process further so this is really simple how we can put values that is we have to put in place of y that is x so let's do it 0 to 3 6x x square x square by 2 and it's dx now again what we have to do we have to do integration well uh, before going to solve the next part of this integration problem let me share with you a golden tip a golden tip what is that don't just watch my videos try to solve by yourself with my videos of course you need reference you can take reference uh, you can consider reference uh, uh, as my videos but the thing is that you have to solve yourself also if you will watch you will learn if you will practice then you will build a concept to solve it by yourself and until unless you will not solve mathematics he is not going to have I many i mean i cannot say this is you cannot solve but yes i have this is my personal experience if you will not practice then probably most probably you will forget things so try to practice a lot that's why even in critical condition you can remember what you did in past that only happened that only happened if if you will practice okay so that's enough that's enough for the tips and all that now let's come back to this problem what we can do in this problem what we have to do next that is we have to do simple integration nothing else so what how we can do it just look at this 6 x square by 2 x cube by 3 x cube by 2 multiple 3 because of 3 is here so we have to get denominator 3 also so 0 to 3 now do little bit calculation before going to put the value of x that is 3 and 0 right so 2 3 and x 3 x square minus x cube by 3 minus x cube by 6 so we got limit 0 to 0 to 3 right now we have to put these values 3 3 square x uh, sorry 3 cube by 3 3 cube by 6 minus 3 0 square 0 cube by 3 there is no sense of doing this but even then i am doing because most probably you are beginner that's why i'm doing all this okay so this term the whole term will be 0 because we as we know anything will multiple with anything uh, that is 0 definitely it will become 0 so here all terms are 0 then definitely the whole term will be whole 
uh, this part will be zero so don't need to do calculation further okay now what we got basically three multiple nine twenty seven okay is this okay my dear yeah so this is uh, nine because three power three is twenty seven 327 division 3 is equal to 9 because 9 and 3s are 27 so 3 to the power 3 that means 27 by 6 so this will become 2 and this will become 9 so further 4.5 now we have to just calculate this to get the values so this is how much we are getting basically 18 18 minus 4.5 that means 13 14 13.5 so what is that value we got from this question after solving that is 13.5 now look at the option we have given 54 40.5 27 13.5 so without thinking too much just mark the answer that is d that is the accurate answer for this question so for, so what we have learned from these this taught well that is how to do integration problem that is double double integration double integration and i hope you got the concept that's why you will not repeat mistake or maybe you will not make mistake in the examination thanks for watching and hope to see you again in my next video taught well bye bye